I mean, this guy shows up on an island. He's a detective and stuff. But, um, whatchamacallit, turns out that he's not a detective. Well, spoiler alert, don't listen to this part if you want to watch Shutter Island in the future, which I hope you do not because it's terrible. But, so, insane guy goes and, well, we don't know he's insane. We're like, oh, this cop goes to an island, is... Finding out all this stuff where like, oh no, wait, gotta focus, gotta focus. Not, gotta have my earth, wind, fire, no! Um, but, guy goes to an island and he is kind of just investigating the island and stuff. Um, and he is a cop with his assistant. Throughout the movie, he like, just kind of like, goes through a crazy chain of events where he slowly finds out that the island... The island's doctors are uh, testing like stuff on the crazy, insane. Oh yeah, the island is uh, like an insane asylum. But the doctors are testing all this stuff on the island's um, insane people, and he has to put an end to it. And in the end, he confronts the doctor, and in this tower where the um, human tests had been going on and the doctor just is like no this is not happening um you're actually insane and he's like because he realizes that he's insane in the end I mean it's not not it iter fully iterated if they made him become insane or um or whatchamacallit, or he just was insane the entire time, but in my opinion, he had been insane the other t the entire time. That just ruined the movie for me. I mean, I was building up plot, building up all this stuff, um, getting ready to like see the epic ending where he confronts the doctor, finds the human testing plant, does all that jazz, but then it's like, oh, whoops, he's insane. It's like, all two hours of my life wasted away. Although I, I do that a lot. Waste away my life, so... I shouldn't have to worry about that. But still. To summarize that, don't see Shutter Island. Crazy guy. Thinks he's not insane. Is insane. I just failed that jump. I'm probably like the biggest, biggest noob about this game. I mean... That one jump, I have failed maybe 10 times already. But I keep trying it and I don't change anything. As some guy who I forget what his name is once said, the definition of insanity is trying one thing over and over and in the same way but expecting different results. And that's actually kind of exactly what I've been doing. Not sure how to do it otherwise, though, but oh no, that guy is waiting for me on the other side. Or wait, I don't have to go over the top, do I? I can go here? No, that's not gonna work. That doesn't. No, gotta go over the top. Oh no. Wait, let me just try this. Try this going through here. Through the secret passageway. Through Narnia. Narnia is a movie. <gasps> <clears throat> Just that all that breathing in like dried out my throat. I need a refreshing beverage like Fanta, Dr. Pepper. Oh no. Jeez, that is the right way to go, but it's really hard to get through there. Oh no, oh no. Got it. Okay. It seems that would be the right way to go, but I'm not sure. Not sure at all. It's always ah, this always happens. It always is like I have a bunch of stuff that I'm cool talking about, and then at the very end, I just run out of stuff to talk about. 
because I take about like 20 extra minutes on a level that should take me five. Oh wow, what? That was shooting through a wall. Aimbot, hacks, anything. But please, anyone can say. I, I stood down there and it's like, nope, you're not on target. I'm like, cool, I can just sit here and talk. But then it's like, nope, not happening. And this video I've been making has been going on in for 934 seconds. That's like well over the limit of YouTube. And I have no idea how to beat this level still. I haven't even gotten to the bottom half. I'm gonna go. Not gonna touch that though. Oh no! What does that thing touch? Do the bobber. Oh, I don't know. But am I allowed to touch that thing? I do not know. Because it's little, which means that it's like evil. Or will it help me? I need to discover its secrets. That's it, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna touch that thing. Whoa. That's what she said. Not really. That was immature. I need to learn to stop doing that. Actually, I don't do that ever, but... I don't know why I just did it there. I don't know, I'm doing car signs. I'm not a car, I'm a ninja. Makes no sense. Wow, he's playing soccer with my dead body. You saw that? That'd be so gross, just like finding someone that's dead actually. No, he killed me. And then he plays soccer with my dead body. Two things I say to that. First, he has a really strong foot because I could never kick someone like that against a wall and secondly that is disgusting because it is not in good taste to kick people around like soccer balls I mean that that's probably a felony oh that's not too bad or was it was it mr. laser guy tell me if it was he says nothing so let's see need to touch that pad over there that's defended by or do I you know what I'm gonna skip that bypass the solution oh no mr. laser I have a feeling <laughs> that I can actually do this level possibly maybe oh no why are you coming back no yes yes Victory! I need some like exciting Russian homeland music for this right now. I might put it in. I don't know. But thank you for watching this excruciatingly long episode of. Um... Wait, I don't even know if I'm done. I think I'm done. Yep, I'm done. Um, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play and Ninja with Off Topic. Um, Amber, stop talking. I'm do I'm trying to do live commentary here, okay? I might bring you in for some other one, but not now. I'm trying to end the episode. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you later. Goodbye.